carbon peroxide. I've been asked this a lot in classes and so forth of, you know, the use of hydrogen peroxide and can it be used for exterior uh, wood restoration? Um, a couple things about hydrogen peroxide. One is, as I was a kid, I remember girls in high school using hydrogen peroxide to bleach their hair. So I think of that, I think of bleaching. Um, it's, if you think of it like that, <clears throat> it's not a chlorine bleach. So it is environmentally friendly. Um, uh, so there is a lot of pluses and minuses when it comes to everything. And we have to kind of delve through that. And that's what this video is going to be all about. The pluses and minuses and the uses of hydrogen peroxide, specifically where it uh, applies to exterior wood restoration. Now, hydrogen peroxide, it can be an effective cleaner. Okay, it does get to the uh, root of the organic growth and is good to remediate that growth. Now, one of the things we talk about is um, how uh, a non-porous surface like wood, how the organic growth will root into the wood and chlorine bleach struggles a little bit because it's more of a surface type of product. It reacts with the first thing it comes in contact with. Hydrogen peroxide is a little better when it comes to that. It gets to the growth a little better. So there's a plus. Uh, sodium percarbonate is another one, oxygenated bleach that gets to the root of the, of the uh, growth, and especially when we start talking about heavier growth. We're talking about light graying, light growth. You know, chlorine bleach works. So does hydrogen peroxide. So does sodium percarbonate. And then there's other things we can use as well. But let's stick to this, the hydrogen peroxide for right now. So the hydrogen peroxide, a lot of people also think, oh, because it's environmentally friendly and they hear that, that, oh, it's safe. You should still wear your PPE, um, your protective uh, uh, equipment, um, to make sure that you don't get burned, you don't get hurt, anything that could happen with the hydrogen peroxide. That's number one. Uh, number two, uh, the price of hydrogen peroxide is more expensive, considerably more than some of the other products like chlorine bleach, which is what everybody likes. One of the reasons everybody likes to use chlorine bleach is because of the price. Although the price has been going up recently, um, especially over the last year or two, uh, it's gone up significantly. Um, with hydrogen peroxide, if we were to compare that, if we basically took sodium percarbonate and we add water to it, we've pretty much created hydrogen peroxide, something very, very similar, very close to that. And you can check this out yourself if you'd like as well. Um, for a lot less of the price that is as good or more effective at getting to the root of growth than hydrogen peroxide. So when people ask me in the class, and I'm just being frank, um, actually, I'm actually Everett, not Frank, but a uh, little stupid humor. Um, when somebody asks me in the class that we teach that why would you spend three, four, five times more for a product that you can get the same thing from when you're using sodium percarbonate. The answer is you really wouldn't. So it's kind of obsolete, but you know, people have to come up with uses. And the reason I referenced earlier, uh, when I first heard of hydrogen peroxide as a kid, is that we've really gone a lot further since then. And I never heard anything in years about hydrogen peroxide for wood. And then all of a sudden it's like, ooh, hydrogen peroxide. It's like that shiny little new thing we got. Um, so somebody thinks that they made a product with hydrogen peroxide or people have and all of a sudden you know it's like the rubik's cube or whatever the it could be the uh the pink cups whatever so anyway there's a couple of things i want to talk about things i see online some things that, that kind of confuse me and i want to give you a little background with hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide first of all chlorine bleach first was used in paper making and what it did was it destroyed the lignin or delignified the wood the lignin is the glue-like substance. It's in wood, and then there's pulp. And it would separate the pulp from the lignin. We need to get rid of the lignin. So chlorine used to be used. So that's where people would say, okay, well, chlorine damages wood. It destroys the lignin. Okay, we're talking about chlorine versus sodium hypochlorite with a less percentage dialed down. So it's not as harmful as everybody makes it out to be, number one. So when we get to the environmentally friendly thing, and people will say, well, chlorine isn't. I'm not here to debate that. I'm really talking about the hydrogen peroxide. It's environmentally friendly, but it was used in paper making. And I bring that up for a very important reason. If we use hydrogen peroxide for paper making, 
then that should apply. Everything that applies to chlorine bleach should apply to hydrogen peroxide. It's just, that's it. Game over, done. If hydrogen peroxide is used to delignify and destroy lignin in the wood, just like chlorine bleach, then that same argument should be made. But you don't hear that online. You don't hear that in a Facebook group. You don't hear it anywhere. You know why? Because people want to push that scenario. And it just doesn't apply. Truth of the matter is hydrogen peroxide, Google it, whatever you want to do, search it, was used, is used to delignify wood for paper making. If that's the case, then there's a couple things that should happen. One is you don't want to make the percentage too high because that's what damages wood or damages the, the, the lignin in the wood. Two, when we are restoring wood, one of the things we do is we use something to neutralize or to stop that delignification process, whether it's sodium hydroxide or sodium metasilicate or any other type of product, hydrogen peroxide, whatever it is, we should be using the oxalic acid. Almost, this, this thing where we want to just use one product to restore wood is bogus. You really do need two. Uh, an acid will not get rid of organic growth effectively, but people sell it as a deck cleaner. Go the other way and people will sell some bleach in a bottle and say, oh, that'll restore your wood. Where It won't, especially with a lot of organic growth and so forth. It needs a lot of help. Um, but we use we when we use a stripper with sodium hydroxide, um, mo most common, and we put that on wood, we use oxalic acid to stop the interaction with the lignin and neutralize the product. Well, we should still do that with hydrogen peroxide, but nobody talks about two-stepping hydrogen peroxide. Don't know why, but they should. Oxalic acid also does more than that. Check out the other videos. So you're using it not just to stop a reaction, but you're also using it to brighten the wood, neutralize iron stains, so forth and so on. So there are other reasons for using that. Now, as we talk more about the hydrogen peroxide, that also means you need to rinse it. I've watched tons of videos online where people are spraying hydrogen peroxide on something. Ooh, look what it did. What do you mean? And then they go and leave it. First of all, show me that thing when it's dry. Just like all these people use chlorine bleach on a fence and they take this heavy, you know, oh, it's straight bleach, put it in a pump sprayer, put it on. They never show you the dried fence where it's all whited out and doesn't look natural. That's cleaning wood, but it's not restoring wood. So hydrogen peroxide, if you put that on, you still need to rinse. Rinsing from the Forest Products Lab when they were very active and, and creating standards for the industry and and everybody else out there, rinse, rinse, and rinse again. We should be rinsing, 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 rinsing. You don't want to leave hydrogen peroxide in the wood. Why? I already explained it. It delignifies the wood. Stop making videos if you're out there with hydrogen peroxide and you're not rinsing because it's not the way it should work. I have it. I have a couple examples here. It's crazy. To start, fill a spray bottle with a mixture of one part, 3% hydrogen peroxide and one part water. Next, spray the de deck off, or let it sit for 10 minutes, scrub and rinse the deck. That's it. That's it. That's all it is. Spray it, rinse the deck. No oxalic acid. Oxalic acid if you're restoring. Just saying. Hydrogen peroxide, same thing. I can go on and on. Bleaching, it talks right, right away about how using hydrogen peroxide to delignify chemical pulp requires more vigorous conditions. It delignifies the pulp in the wood. So anybody who wants to argue with me and tell me that hydrogen peroxide does not delignify wood, you're wrong. And we don't talk about it enough. We talk about how great it is. We don't talk about how you should actually work with it and so forth. Next, another one. Look at this picture. That's all algae and so forth. And somebody has 11 ways to remove green algae mold from your deck. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hydrogen peroxide is mentioned. If your wood looks like that, and by the way, this is cracked and rotted over here. If that deck looks like that, you shouldn't be talking about cleaning wood. But everybody wants to glamorize and say, oh, look at my article and see how to clean wood. If I saw a picture like that, I'd be telling somebody, first of all, they're probably not the customer you want because they've let it neglect, they've neglected it for so long. Second of all, 
the amount of what you would have to do with hydrogen peroxide, chlorine bleach, or anything else to get that is crazy. That deck should be removed, pulled off, and rebuilt, not hydrogen peroxide. But this is the stuff I'm seeing online. It's confusing to people. If you're looking at this and you're a contractor, if you're a, if you're a homeowner, it's very confusing when there's stuff out there that is either incomplete or it's slanted, but that's everything on the internet today. So while there is some good information, there is some misinformation or disinformation out there. I'm just telling you, I'm just breaking down one thing, one category at a time. You can check out other videos for other stuff. But hydrogen peroxide is an effective cleaner for wood restoration. However, it has it's limited. It has its place. It's not a stripper. Okay? It's not a stripper. It will not has no stripping ability. It will not strip off stain. If you put on a, a too strong, it may affect the stain, but it's not used as a stripper. It's very expensive as a cleaner. I think you should use safety precautions when you use it in your PPE. And I also believe that you should rinse, rinse, and you still should do the two-step and use the oxalic. I'm Everett Abrams, the Wizard of Wood, talking about hydrogen peroxide tonight. I hope this video has helped you. Check out some of my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.